The Center for Organ Recovery and Education, CORE, announced a record-breaking year in 2019. CORE had more organ donors than ever before. Uh, because of the generosity of 253 organ donors in western Pennsylvania and West Virginia, we were able to give life to 661 people. Communications coordinator for CORE, Caitlin Metz, credits those donors for their gift. Every single one of the transplants was made possible because of a generous donor and because of their courageous family who in the midst of a terrible tragedy of their own decided to give life to somebody else. Courageous families like the Kabat family. Jason Kabat's brother Nathan passed away nearly six years ago in a motorcycle accident. Nathan was a, a good hardworking man. He was a good husband. He was a good father. Um, he was active, played football in high school. Um, he would do anything for anybody. Doing something like donating his heart, liver, lungs, and kidney after passing away. Being an organ donor is something that runs in the Kabat family. As soon as we were able to get our driver's license, it was a decision that we made ever since we were 16 years old that we wanted to be organ donors. Ten years ago, Dave Pringle was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, and in 2019, his heart started to fail. But he got a second chance. May 15th of last year, I was fortunate enough to receive a donor heart at Allegheny General. Uh, it's been nine months since I received my heart. And he says he's doing great. I got to have another Christmas with my family. I can still look after my grandchildren, uh, Steve still be there for my family, uh, and it's uh, very special to me that I got to have that chance. Even with a 10% rise in organ donors, Met says they still need help. We still have about 113,000 people nationwide, including 7,000 people right here in Pennsylvania who are waiting for life-saving transplants. And registration is easy. Go to core.org, register, and you can sign up right there. And of course, every time you go to the DMV, they're going to ask you, they're going to want to know if you want to be an organ donor on your driver's license.